Hi Mike, Mike's family, uh, Ryan here again, doing way too many videos but I'm having far too much fun so it's uh, it's all good. My kit's stupidly got bigger, <laughs> I've decided to put another floor some on my left hand side which is uh, which is pretty good fun. Um, I've been working on the, the fake double bass that was Mike posted a couple of weeks ago or so now and I haven't really actually gone through the, the different sheets, I've mainly been staying on the first one um, because I kind of found it more uh, more fun to experiment with um, and then after looking at the second and the third one I kind of realised it was sort of linked into those as well anyway um, but I just wanted to, rather than use it as like a fake double bass thing to make it a bit more melodic um, and on this kit I've got quite a few toms which I don't normally gig with but it's quite fun to stay, you know, mess about at home with. Um, so what I was doing was using like a tom pattern that would use four drums and keeping that going uh, whilst keeping the back beat with my left hand. Um, and what happens is it kind of, it's slightly polyrhythmic in the sense that it, it starts in a different position every time against the back beat. But basically it takes like three whole bars for it to land together at the beginning, starting on the floor tom again. Um, so I just wanted to show you that quickly as a quite fun little idea uh, to change the volume. So that's uh, that's the kind of first thing I was playing around with, just trying to move it, get the right hand bit of movement. Um, it was quite a cool idea, and I've also started experimenting with with different groups on each drum. So instead of just playing a single hit, starting to play like groups of two, um, groups of three. Groups of three kind of have a similar effect to to what I was doing there. It sort of moves around the beat a bit, but I'm not quite. Not quite got that yet, so that's something I'm still working on. Um, the next thing I was doing was actually taking the exercises from the sheet that Mike gave us, the part one, of the fake double bass, and um, when the bass drum plays, I was dividing that into extra notes to try and work on my doubles um, on my bass drum. So I was kind of dividing them into 32nd notes and also 16th note triplets. Um, so with the 32nd notes you almost get this kind of gallop effect when you double up the bass drum playing the exercises so like um, and then the other way of doing it was to use the 16th note triplets so I'm going to keep it all nice and even with the triplets so it's da -da 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 so I just wanted to kind of go through the exercises um, if I can remember you know, remember, roughly remember them. Um, and then switch, I'm going to play each one a couple of times and then switch from using the 16th note triplets over to the 32nd notes to kind of give it a different feel. Uh, so let's give this a go. 